Hi, my friends. In honor of Black History Month, today I thought I would highlight five black female chefs who are totally crushing the food industry right now. Some you may have read about or seen on TV. Hopefully, you've been lucky enough to taste their amazing food. If not, a road trip or two might be in order. These five chefs are doing some of the most dynamic cooking I've tasted in a long time, and I'm so happy to share them with you. So, allow me to present to you without any type of order of importance. Number one, Dorian Hunter. Aside from peanut butter, one of my favorite things to binge on is competitive cooking shows. Iron Chef, Chopped, Hell's Kitchen, you name it. That's why I have to give props to Chef Dorian Hunter, the first black woman to win Master Chef, season 10 to be exact. Originally from Ohio, Chef Hunter honed her cooking chops at Le Cordon Bleu, as well as McIntosh College in New Hampshire. These days, Chef Hunter continues to make a name for herself in the private event world, even offering online cooking classes. Number two, Kia Damon. She is a New York-based chef who appeared on one of my other favorite cooking shows, Chopped. At just 24 years old, Damon became the head chef at Lolito, a now-closed and sorely missed chef-driven Mexican restaurant in New York. More recently, the Florida native has been establishing culinary nonprofits like Auxilio and Kia Feeds the People. Both organizations are dedicated to battling food apartheid, the lack of healthy and affordable food options as a result of systemic racism. Number three, Maria Moore Russell. I've written about Maria Moore Russell before, but I can't get enough of her work. Luckily, the first black female chef to head a Michelin-starred kitchen, that would be Kiko in Chicago, is working on some exciting new projects. After doing some amazing pop-ups in her hometown of Detroit, she has returned to Chicago to introduce a new pop-up concept called Connie's Underground. On her Instagram, Moore Russell describes the pop-up as a liberation project and supper club based around living intentionally. I can't wait to go back to my home state and try it. Number four, Mashama Bailey. I follow the James Beard Awards with the same enthusiasm that movie buffs follow the Academy Awards. They are the foodie Oscars after all. That's why I was thrilled when in 2022, my girl Mashama Bailey became the first black woman to win the James Beard Award for Outstanding Chef. Three years prior, she won the James Beard Award for Best Chef Southeast for her work at the Grey Eddy Seasonal Southern Restaurant in Savannah. Chef Bailey, a New York native, is still in Savannah cooking amazing meals at the Grey, but Bailey and her team have been busy with other exciting projects as well. Last year, they opened the Grey Market in Texas, and later this year, they will open a yet-to-be-named Southern Restaurant in Paris. And number five, Lena Richard. I had to give a shout out to this woman, even though she is no longer with us. She was the first black female chef to host a televised cooking show. Lena Richards' New Orleans Cookbook, based on her actual New Orleans cookbook, aired from 1949 to 1950 on WDSU TV in her hometown of New Orleans. And while the show only aired for a year, sadly, Richard died in 1950, its influence can still be felt. Aside from her TV and publishing ventures, Richard also ran a successful catering business, several New Orleans restaurants, and even a line of frozen foods. That she achieved such staggering success in the Jim Crow South is all the more remarkable. Do you think I left out anyone else on this list? I'm sure I did because there are many others out there that are doing such an impressive job. Please send me more suggestions and let's celebrate together Black History Month by eating at one of these amazing chefs' restaurants. To know more, visit cookingwithjade.com. See you next time.